What's up guys, I'm Carson Brown. We're out here at Fox Raceway. We're ripping some Suzuki's with Dirt Bike Magazine. Today I get to ride Ken Roxon's 450 that he raced LA Coliseum with. I can hardly wait. We're gonna spin some laps on this thing. So we just got done with the day of testing on a wide variety of Suzuki's. We tested a 250, a 450, and then we got to ride some factory bikes. Now Carson, you rode just about every bike Suzuki has in Southern California here today. You did get to ride the RMZ 450 and Chisholm's RMZ 450 race bike and a couple Roxon race bikes. What are the differences between the stock 450 and maybe those factory bikes? Yeah, so the stock 450 by itself is a great bike. Like everybody knows it turns well. Everybody knows it handles good. It's got that Suzuki handling. It is a bit rigid though. It's a bit twitchy. Roxon's bike always drove straight, turned amazing. Same with Chisholm's. Chisholm sets both their bikes up. So between the two models, they were very similar. Power, it was making a lot of power, but didn't have a huge hit. So it was super easy to ride. The stock RM450 had a bit more of a hit to it, but Roxon's still faster, broader power, super fun bike to ride, super easy. And the suspension was stiff, but the way it had its chassis set up, it was flexing a bit more in the front end. And I think that's why it felt so good when I was riding it, even over the rough stuff. Now, so what you would say is that they kind of took the best features out of the stock RMZ and just kind of expanded on them for the factory bikes? Yeah, absolutely. And the thing that's cool with these bikes is every part on Roxon's bike is available to the public. Like they have different year triple clamps or um, off different models and everything, but it's still Suzuki based. So um, it's really cool that, you know, these parts are all accessible and um, they pretty much just refined, picked and choosed and um, got everything how they needed it. And it's really cool because um, it's a great bike and it's all obtainable. Now we want to do say with that too, the team was very adamant about Chisholm had the base settings for everything, but Roxon really does do all of his own testing. They said that he had real dedication to the his craft and everything like that. So we want to make sure that it's not just Chisholm. Chisholm has a really good job of setting the bike up initially. And then Roxon came in and gave it his flavor because you did ride those two factory bikes back to back. And you said there was a little bit of a difference between the two. 
Yeah, Roxon's felt like it had a little bit more bottom end compared to Chisholm's to me. And then uh, Chisholm's bike just felt a little more plush up in the handlebars and overall. But as far as like feeling, they were both uh, pretty similar and uh, both great bikes, super fun to ride. So if you got a little bit more time on your hands and you want to check out some of our YouTube shorts of Carson riding the stock 2024 Suzuki model, head over to our YouTube now. Or if you want a little bit more information, check out Carson's Instagram. He's got all kinds of stuff on his reels and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest stuff that we're doing here on YouTube and head over to dirtbikemagazine.com for the latest off-road industry news.